guys and welcome to today's video. I'm filming in front of a window. I thought I would try to film in natural lighting and see if you guys like it better. This is a full phase of testing new products and things that I've picked up at Sephora that I haven't tried yet. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm out of breath because I was setting up and it was a pain in the arse, let's just say. But I picked up this new concealer. It's Jordana Take Cover Full Coverage Concealer. And I got this at Walgreens. And I thought it looked so interesting. So I got Ivory, shade Ivory. And I just want to test this out. My shop miss a beauty sponge. See, so far it looks really good. And I would say, yeah, it is full coverage on my eyelids. Obviously, I didn't do my under eye yet. I'm going to take this Too Faced Tutti Fruity Banana Cream Setting Powder. And I want to just, it's so cute, it has like embossed bananas. And I want to go ahead and set the eye with that. And it, it smells like those Pez candies. So, it does have a scent. I'm going in with the Goddess Palette by Alter Ego. Um, I think I've used this before, but it is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I'm just going to go and start out with, I want to pull this like this, Hera here. It's just a mid-tone brown to start out the eye look with. I like that Tutti Fruity powder. It went on really smoothly. I just was thinking would you guys prefer it this way every time because I can totally do that otherwise I'm confined to the basement so I don't know I like it in natural lighting personally you get to see up close and personal what things actually do look like so I did use this palette before but I'm going to create a completely separate look from the one I did previously so this is just a really lax video try to get ready with me you know you might hear the kids in the background and dogs barking I'm gonna go in with Athena it's mustard orange shade it's a like a brownish mustard shade a true mustard shade like a Dijon mustard shade it's even better than the Natasha Denona one so, I'm just going to add that. I'm not doing anything super dramatic. Then I'm going to take just, oh, like a flatter, more flat brush like this. And I'm going to pack on Avalon, which is this deep brown, on the outer corner. I do wearable looks on my channel. I'm simple. I like to do wearable looks for people to be able to go to work or school wearing this and not feel crazy out of this world colorful I'm just I've done some looks like that on my channel I'm just not that type of person though on the on the low down you get what I'm saying so that's really pigmented I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to take the shade Venus right here and just place this on the lid but my god, look at that pigment. It's so much better to film in this lighting because I don't have to worry about the lights. You guys can obviously see that pigment. And let me just go finish the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. That's all I'm going to do for the eyeshadow. I already have some lash, not lashes, but I put mascara on. For the brow bone and the inner corner, I'm going to be using Freya right here. It's just this white glittery shade. Which I really like it. You guys, the bags are real. I keep getting up at like 3 in the morning. Don't know why. And I can't go back to bed. And so I make my coffee. And then I'm like dragging midday. Um, I'm going to try this Becca under eye corrector in light to medium. For my under eye, you can see the bags I just covered up. Like I just defeated the purpose of that inner corner highlight. We'll go back in with that. I'm just going to try to cover up 
you know, all of these imperfections I have right here, like darkness that's right here and over here, and I'll blend that out and be right back. For foundation, I picked up this Becca Skin Love foundation. Oh, that's hard. You can't really see it. Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation infused with Glow Nectar Brightening Complex, and I chose the shade Noisette. The only thing weird about the lighting is it's going to be like in and out constantly, and like my kids are going to be in and out. I'll try my best to not have that happen, but it's inevitable. I just got my BoxyCharm, and we got the No Problem Prime Essence with Calendula Officinalis Flower Extract from Touch and Soul. I'm going to be using this as my primer. And you'll see what else I'm going to use. So this is very liquidy, but instantly is setting down matte. It's soaking straight into the skin. Wow. I did not expect that. It's almost like serum-y. But it is blurring my pores out, which is unexpected. So I'm also going to take the L'Oreal True Match Glow Amore just for some bronze action. I'm going to take that on my hand and just give the skin some nice warmth. Some bronze. A little bit of color. This is actually pretty oily feeling. Um, I do have the Drunk Elephant de-bronzy drops, but I figured that since I haven't tried this, that I would give it a try. I'm really scared for this foundation because I think the shade match is going to be terrible, but we shall see. So I'm going to apply it now just with, actually I'm going to apply it with my hands, which I haven't been doing but I've been since I last filmed I have been going in you know with my hands applying foundation and then going with the beauty blender or sponge whatever you want to say I'm not correct in any of that so and then blending out any lines that may be left but, ooh, I really do love this foundation so far. But this is just the first impression. It's new makeup I haven't tried. Um, I really like the shade match that I chose. And I'm just going to go over that and smooth that area out. It's got some luminosity to it. It's really, like it says, weightless on the skin. And it's not settling into fine lines. My pores don't look enlarged. I think it's perfect for me, and I have dry skin for reference. So we're going to be going in with this Jordana concealer. Let's see what this is all about. It's got a nice doe foot. I don't want to apply like a huge amount, but I'm just going to apply where I normally do and blend this out. Wow, so that just blended so fast. It is very thin, but it is really full coverage. Like you just saw, it erase that blemish I had. Wow, this is impressive. This was like two ninety nine. Look at that! Holy shnikes! I'm impressed. Oh my god! And it's sort of dewy. There's no creasing whatsoever in it. It's dewy. It's full coverage. It doesn't take a ton to blend it out. It is not thick. It's not heavy. Wow. I'm impressed. I saw this at Walgreens and I was like, oh, I'll just pick it up. It's sort of brightening. Not too brightening. I really... Wow, I'm impressed. For setting powder, I'm going to be going in with the Ilia setting powder. This is a talc-free formula, and that's why I decided to pick it up. Because I don't want talc underneath my eyes. So I'm going to lightly, very lightly set this. Because I'm going in with cream products today, some new ones. Very lightly set the areas in which I placed 
the concealer. Just a light dusting. Taking the Goddess palette again, I'm just going to take Juno and mix that with Iris and apply that to the under eye. I don't want to go and do anything crazy with the under eye. I just want a light under eye. So... And that looks nice. So a trick I've learned if you struggle with lower lash line mascara is to take either a, a tiny fan brush or like a brush of any sort, brush the mascara on it and just run it at the root of the lash and it'll immediately dispense itself downward and you won't have the problem of, you know, that smudging on the lower lash line or transferring. I'm going to be trying the new Tarte Man Eater Self Sharpening. Oh my gosh, Self Sharpening pencil. And it's retractable, I think. Ow, kind of hurts. It is super glidey, but I just went in heavily with it. On my lower waterline. Then I'm going to do the mascara on my lower lashes and I'll be right back. All right, moving on into contour. I'm taking this Wet n Wild contour stick. I've actually never used this before. And I'm going to be going in and contouring my face, my nose, jawline and under the lip. Now let's see how easily this blends out. Super, super easy to blend. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry guys, my father-in-law came to drop my daughter off, so I was telling you how easy this is to blend, and as you can see, it is just melting into my skin. I like to bring my contour up a little bit. I don't normally contour on the daily, just to be completely honest. This foundation, it's not lifting it either. I blended out my forehead and my nose and all that, so it's not lifting, which is nice. By the way, that's his truck he's starting. Ruining my video! Hello! Oh. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. cream blush. This is in Soft Peach. It looks like this. I'm just going to take it with my finger and apply it kind of higher. And then taking the sponge and sort of just blending it out. It's super soft. I think this is going to be a summer staple of mine. I can't wait. So beautiful. Like, do you guys see this? I love it. I'm going in with the TARDIS Pro, Pro Glow. Hello. And I'm going to take this bronzer right here on my bronzing brush. And I'm going to set down that contour that I did on my face. Just really quick and easy. This is actually much easier for me to do it this way than being downstairs all the time. I'm going to put a little bit on my neck to match my chest. But I really, really like this face palette. I just got it in the BoxyCharm and I'm low-key obsessed. So it's so pretty. I love that. For blush, to set my blush down, I'm going in with this Sephora product. It's a blush duo. It looks like this. It's in the shade English Rose. So you've got a deeper shade and a lighter shade. I'm just going to take that on my Luxie Tapered Highlighting Brush and just sort of flick backward and set that e.l.f. blush. And as you can see, it's very pigmented, but blush is the first thing to fade on me and I sort of put it over my nose to look sunburnt and everywhere else I just kind of run it over that. right in my eye, it hurts. For highlight, I'm going into the Pro Glow palette and I'm just gonna mix these two, tap off my brush and apply to 
high points of the face and a little bit to the cheeks. I really like that look. This is a very nice highlighter. I'm impressed with all these products. I really like that Sephora blush duo. They don't have it in the Sephora where I live. So I ordered it online. A little to the chin. Cupid's bow. I don't want to go overboard with the highlight like I always do. So that's how that looks. For lips, I'm going to take my Sorme lip liner. I'll line my lips and come back with a new lip product. So the lip product I got is from Stilazzi. Stilazzi! And it's in the shade Shaken. So it's like a lip gloss, but it's super pretty and it's the perfect nude. The gloss is not sticky, it's really light, but I'm low-key obsessed with this gloss right now. Like, look how pretty that is. It's so perfect. I'm not wearing any liner today. I'm just going to keep it this simple. And last but not least, I have to go back in with the Goddess palette and put my inner corner highlight back on because I did take that off earlier in the shade Freya and just... What I like to do is also apply a little bit right here to open up the eye. I really like this style better. What do you guys think? Comment down below. It's easier to see the colors and all of that jazz. I love it. So for setting spray, I'm trying something new. I got this in my BoxyCharm. It's the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy um, Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. So it looks like this. and It has that scent of herbs but a super fine mist it smells so good i can't think of the smell though it's like mint it's mint it's minty and this is the final look i created with testing all new products the standout products for me are the foundation i absolutely love this foundation um first impression wise the goddess palette i i'm stunned by this it's a hundred percent dupe for the T Natasha General Gold. Get this palette instead. It's sixteen dollars, super cheap. And this concealer, I'm oddly impressed with. It's super full coverage, brightening. I don't see anything wrong with it. No creasing or anything. And I love this Ilia powder. That is also brightening, talc-free, very very finely milled. It just glides on, airbrushes the under eye. I love it. So overall, I'm super impressed, and this contour stick by Wet n Wild, this is a necessity in life. Like, I love, love, love this first impression. Um, I love the Double Duty Man Eater Tarte Liner. It's self-sharpening, so that's really cool. Um, and this primer, I'm actually really impressed with this primer because my pores look a lot less visible than normal, so I'm shocked about that. And the Becca color corrector, I really like this. This did a really, really good job. What I want to do with this Too Faced powder, and I didn't give it a fair shot, is to sort of clean up under here. Let's see how that does. I think that does a really good job. It's brightening. It sort of cut the area for me. Cleaned it up. Love it. Love the smell. It's not too intense or hard or anything. So if you guys like this video and you like me, go ahead and subscribe. It is free. Hit the notification bell on your way out. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your loyalty and your support. I love you all. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.